Greetings, cyber dogs, hawklings, and fellow gamers and fellow zombie shooters. I am back with Seven Days to Die, episode 8. And yes, I did get the cooking pots. I managed to find quite a few just in one house. The only thing is, guys, when I recorded this portion of this particular episode, again, something had gone wrong with the sound, guys. Uh, it has something to do with my mirrorless action but sometimes when I update it it apparently takes it off of my headset and puts it onto my computer's speakers I don't know why it does this anyway I'm gonna be basically narrating this so this is not live my voice is not live with what I'm doing here so I apologize for that I've only tried this one other time with a Hawks Quest episode but this particular stuff that's going on here is going to be extremely important because I sh basically I'm going to show you quite a few things that you can do as far as crafting goes. Uh, one of which is making a torch, making fresh water is another, and what was the other thing that I did? I forgot, honest to God. I think those are the main things that I do here. But and I'll also show you just how important it is to use a med kit and one of the reasons I wanted to do this and make sure that I got this information across is because this particular portion of the episode is very important because you know it helps people out on how to play the game um, I think they need to be able to know these things these are kinda of dire so let me go ahead and continue here I think I was just kind of eating at this point. I I don't know why this happens, guys, but one of the things you always got to do, I guess, before you do any recording is kind of do a sound check, do a small recording to make sure you're actually being picked up. So if you guys decide to do this, don't do like me and forget to do it and just go ahead and record it because it's not like you can back up. That's the only problem. I mean, this game continues on. You can't go back in time. So, anyway, one of the things you do to do is put your pot in here like that and get your uh, murky water. This is pretty much going to be important. I think the murky water was over here. Yeah. And take your murky water and you place it in the campfire. Thusly. And then you will see on the right side you'll have an option of things that you can make and you need something to fuel the fire and I usually use these old stained pieces of furniture because they they give you about two three four minutes of burn time each which is really good actually but make sure you s I, I don't know I kept doing that before <laughs> make sure the thing is you click cook in order to get it to actually make the fresh water and it'll keep making fresh water as long as you have it up in there but it can only store up to 15 in that little slot so you can't put all of them up there now at this point I'm not exactly sure what I was doing except oh, I was probably trying to find animal fat because I was going to go over making torches now, with torches, you do have to have animal fat. You can get animal fat from those big bloated walkers. You can also get animal fat from hunting other hunting animals, which kind of makes sense. Um, and to make the torches, you have to turn the animal fat into tallow, and you have to have a cooking pot to make the tallow. However, you do not need water to make it, which is good. Now you just select cook and it'll start making the towel never heard of that to be honest but I think it's kinda like makes it oily so that it burns the good thing too is you can also use the cooking pot to boil your eggs and you can get two egg halves for every egg you boil I'm, looks like I've raised up my health a little bit here and Candy Sith and Diamond Dad I'm sorry what I don't know what happened guys with your health situation that's going on in your series but I don't know why your health isn't going up 
I don't know, it might have, might play into something dealing with your, um, how many times you pass away or what kind of food you're eating. I remember reading something about that, but you're, you basically build up like a health status. And I'm not real, it doesn't sound like a really cool thing, to be honest, but it, your health status gets lower and you can only gain so much health based on the amount of times you die, based on the amount of types of food that you eat. So... The only way to increase that is you have to eat better types of food, take more medicine, and over time it will go back up. That's the way I understand it. Now that could change with the next alphas. I'm not sure. But, I th oh, I remember what I was trying to do here. I was trying to see if I had any grain alcohol so I could make new med kits. To make a med kit, you have to have one grain alcohol, one bandage, and one blood bag. And that will make the medical kits and those are the best things for increasing your health they will usually get you up 50 percent health so I just happened to find a, uh, a bunch of them in a drop earlier I think I might have mentioned that in an earlier episode I'm not certain um, I think later on I'll be showing you how to make splints but I just happen to have some that I picked off of a nurse so that's one thing I haven't done yet. And oh, by the way, guys, uh, Diamond Deb and Candy Sith have an excellent, excellent Seven Days to Die series. I've been watching it. I've tried to watch every episode or at least keep up. Um, they're both excellent. It's cr really amazing to see them from both of their perspectives. So if you have a chance, please be sure to check out their their series of Seven Days to Die. It's very good. Very good. Anyway, guys, um, I think at this point I'm getting ready to show you how to make torches. And torches are usually, if I'm not mistaken, they're found under tools. But, yeah, I was looking in the wrong place before. Tools. Tools, Hawk. Okay. Or maybe it's building supplies. Yeah, they're there. They're under, well, for some reason they're under building supplies. What That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I guess, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, here I'm going to noob out because I'm about ready to make a torch and I don't have a stick <laughs> on me. And I suddenly realized that and I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't have a stick. So, <laughs> I have to make some. Hey guys, you know, what would it be if I didn't noob out? I'm constantly noobing out. That's my thing, you know? Anyway, first of all, make some sticks. Hawk, make them. There you go. Very good. Good boy. Good boy. He's a good boy. Anyway. Yeah, we put our cloth there. Towel at the top. And we have us a torch. Alright. You can also make torches with coal, guys, but to get coal, you have to either go to the wastelands where the coal is actually exposed, or you have to dig for it. And I don't go to the wastelands unless I absolutely have to. The zombies there are really, really tough. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, well, guys, I had to take a little break there for a second. I'm sorry about these birds. They are just being ob obnoxious as all get out. I don't know what their deal is tonight. I've tried covering them and they keep on chirping. Anyway, I just made several more torches so I'm gonna, if I basically just threw them up so that the place was nice and well lit and I don't know, you, at one point when this game was first created, the torches, it, even at night, used to slow the zombies down. Well, that doesn't work anymore, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, really, pretty much the light, the torches just light up everything so you can see better now. But that's, but they do have another use, and that is you can set zombies on fire with them. So they're treated as a weapon. And a lot of times, if you can set them on fire, if you step away and let it burn long enough, depending on the zombies, some cases, it will kill them over time, which is pretty darn cool 
Anyway, I'm not exactly certain what I'm doing here, but <laughs> like again, oh yeah, okay, I'm going to show you how to make eggs here, that's right. And just like I said earlier, you let's get a little bit of fuel going. You put in your clean water, and then you put your eggs in, and up on the right, you'll notice it says boiled egg, and you just cook and you'll have some boiled eggs cooking up pretty good there you go and it's a pretty good food source nice nice and pro good protein and for every one egg you get two of these half eggs uh, yeah don't ask me to explain why <laughs> you just do anyway go ahead and make enough of these eggs so that we'll have more stuff to eat and the good thing about the eggs is they don't smell a lot of times if you cook venison or pork it'll still smell and the zombies can can track you that way but eggs do not smell so that's a, that's a good thing and I think I just did a little bit organizing organizing here yeah I'm carrying a lot of stuff <laughs> what the heck am I doing here I don't know sometimes when I come back and I watch myself I think to myself why did I do that well anyway one of the things that I want to let you guys know I am getting a new computer so my birthday actually was a few days ago this was this actual recording was made quite a while ago but this is about a week after this recording was made and it is now past my birthday I have not gotten my new computer yet I'm a little aggravated about that because I have been waiting for my computer since the 23rd but there you know you keep having this problem that problem with paperwork and processing and whatnot and since this is run by a government company and it's based on government employees you know things are gonna go wrong but the last time I was able to check it should be in pretty soon they said I've done everything that I can do everything looks good it's just I gotta wait so there you go anyway I'm gonna go ahead and eat something here and I think at this point I had decided that I was going to go try to find some clay I believe so that I could make uh, make use of the forge I was going to try to for some reason when you aim that crossbow if you get it if you get too far to the right it always kind of zoom in on the wall and you can't hit anything from there but luckily I was able to get over to the left enough to where I was able to take him down I think that was one of those spider zombies I hate those things you do not want those things to come up on you because they especially in your base because they will track you from your heat signature and if they can find you they'll call an, another one and the two of them will start screaming and it won't take long before an entire horde comes so they basically they're the summoning zombies they'll summon an entire horde on you I think I said something more to uh, Candy and Dime Deb about that but yeah that happened in their one of their episodes they had a couple of those spider zombies outside screaming and then they were like what what why is this horde here <laughs> well, well you can thank those guys for that those little creeps called them in to try to kill you and I think they succeeded if I'm not mistaken that's why I hate those guys the only way you can really avoid that is just kind of if they come in there kill them as quickly as you can and go somewhere else for a little while that's really all you can do it sometimes pays off to have more than one base I think I can't is this George yeah it's George George is my friend for some reason I couldn't hit George I don't know what the deal was this time oh he was kinda wavering back and forth 
Yeah, I was kind of sucking in my aim here at this point. <laughs> Every now and then I go through, and George hit me. Come on, George. I mean, all the things we've been through, man, you're going to start slapping me? Oh, come on. Since That's just not right, George. Well, I'm going to have to kill George. This is all there is to it. George is gone. I was going to kill George anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Come on, let's try it again. Let's take out George. Smile, George. Smile. Eh, the good boy. That's what happens when you slap me, George. Okay. Nothing in that stupid thing. Yeah, another, another thing that was important about this particular uh, sequence of events, I basically was going to show you how to hunt the animals, and one of the things you really have to do, you know, also pick up some stones along the way, one of the things you really have to do when you use the crossbow, and the crossbow is the best weapon for taking out the animals, because uh, if you try to use melee weapons, they're going to run from you. It's You're going to be running and running and swinging and missing and running and making a complete idiot out of yourself. But with a crossbow, boom. And just like Dilokobus said in his Hunter series, where he's as Kashi, you got to aim for the pocket, guys. The pocket right near the shoulder. Put it through the heart and lungs. They'll bleed out. Watch. And aiming for the pocket. Aiming for the pocket. Boom. And all you have to do is wait for them to bleed out. Now, if you're close enough to them, you can actually see them bleeding. But if I'm not mistaken, as soon as I come over this rise... And there he is. See, Dula, I was paying attention. <laughs> I'll be glad when we can finally get on the hunter and do this uh, more for real. Oh, I think I saw a rabbit is what I... And he was too far away. But there's another rabbit over here. And he's not going to be so lucky. Now, something this little... In this particular game, you don't have to get so exact with your shot. Now, I'm sure in the Hunter it's considerably different, but we're going to take him out. Boom, he's gone. So I've got me some venison and some hassan pfeffer. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. And that'll give me some skins to make some leather. And... We're well on our way to making a possible armor set here that we can kind of beef up our protection with. But we still need stones. Stones is very important, guys. Without the stones, you can't make the bolts. Without the bolts, you can't make your crossbow effective. Now, usually your feathers, you can usually find a lot of those. They'll be in garbage piles. They'll be in nests. Oh, I also was showing you right here. See, now that I've got the meat on me, see that circle of wavy lines coming out from me on the map? Any zombie within that area can smell me. And if they smell me, they're going to be hunting me. Doesn't matter whether they can see me. As long as they can smell me, they're going to be coming for me. So that is important to know. And your rabbit, your pork, your um, venison anything made out of those like boiled venison or grilled venison or boiled pork anything like that or even the venison stew will still smell there's not a whole lot of things you can eat that doesn't smell uh, eggs is one of the few things anyway guys at this point I was going to continue on looking for some clay and the area I wanted to check was quite a ways over, so I was about ready to go ahead and stop it so that you didn't have to sit there and go through the boringness of me, you know, going all over the countryside. Anyway, we're about to the end of this episode, so guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, 
and I will bring you back on the next episode and I promise this one will actually have sound the real sound so bye bye <laughs>